Durban's beach promenade will reopen under strict conditions today. The promenade will be open from 6 a.m. to uh, to 6 rather to 9 a.m. to residents residing within a 5-kilometer radius as part of level 4 lockdown regulations. And for more on this we cross live to our reporter Vusi Kumalo. Vusi, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, do set the scene for us. What is happening there? Yes, I'm here at Deppen North. Well, it seems the Deppenites have really missed the promenade and the beach because they have swam the promenade early this morning. Cyclists as well as the runners were already here exercising uh, in that three-hour deadline from 6 to 9. So we'll also be here even after 9 to monitor to see whether they are also uh, uh, adhering to the strict regulations that have been set out here in Durban. Well, there are quite a number of people, as you can see, our camera lady, Noam Tengubani, is showing you people exercising. And also, it seems that they really missed, uh, I mean, the beach. It's full out here, but there are people who are, I mean, uh, the most of the people, most of the people that I've seen, all of them are wearing their masks. And also, they are not running in crews, but that is still, we're still going to see that if many of them will not be running in crews or in, in, or in organized clubs. While with me is the superintendent, uh, a senior superintendent, uh, Papu, uh, Papu Supersad, who is the municipality's uh, metro spokesperson. Let us also maybe talk to him because uh, despite the national call uh, to, to open these amenities, Depp and Promenade remained closed. Uh, Mr. Supersad, can you tell us about the reason why the Depp and Promenade remained closed despite the national call to, to open all of these amenities? Uh, good morning, uh, Vusi, and good morning to the listeners. Firstly, uh, the promenade had to be cleansed and sanitized before we allow the people to use the promenade. Hence, last night we embarked on a team that did deep cleansing and sanitizing of the promenade. Okay, and also tell us about your law enforcement strategies and also how are you going to ensure that people are not running groups and also keeping social distance? Well, we have deployed um, our various units from the Devon Metropolitan Police Service and as you can see, they are all over uh, the promenade. They are patrolling on foot, some of them on bicycles, some of them on motorized patrols. So they will be ensuring that the enforcement, social distancing is adhered to. And also, how about ensuring that uh, they are running within a five kilometer radius as per the regulations? Well, as I indicated previously, that we have a deployment. Our deployment is close to 1,500 on a daily basis. Uh, the deployment around the five kilometer radius, as well as the townships, the shopping centers, all around within the Itikwini area. But people are not running or exercising with their uh, proofs of residence. So how will you ensure that they do stick to it? Well, we'll have to take something for granted. We don't want to inconvenience, we don't, don't, don't want to upset some of these joggers, some of these runners, because they have just come out of their residences. And we will take for granted them. However, there will be vehicle checkpoints, there will be uh, movement checkpoints, there will be roadblocks held. And these roadblocks and vehicle checkpoints and movement checkpoints have been held all over the city, and this we will intensify. Okay, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. That's Mr. Uh, Senior Superintendent Papu a super sad, uh, saying that they'll ensure to see to it that uh, people are adhering uh, to the strict regulations that have been set out right here in Devon. But we'll be here throughout the whole day to monitor uh, here at the Devon Promenade. It's back to you in the studio for now. All right, Vosikumalo, thank you so much for your time.